Hi there friends, in this video, I'm going to explain you how to create new user and assign roles to access Oracle Fusion AI Agent Studio. So uh, if you recall, when you create a new user with, uh, for example, security manager and application developer roles, it doesn't automatically lets you see the AI Studio um, so the way to do it is something I have explained you over here. So very briefly in a flowchart, you can see you create or use an existing user. Then you've got to set a couple of uh, system profile options, which have been listed below. Once you do that, then you create a new role. And to that new role, it's like a custom role. You have to add certain uh, additional roles, privileges and permission groups to that and which are very specific to Oracle Fusion AI Studio. And once you do that, then the newly created role, you assign it to the user, which you have created over here. And once you do that, then you run the background processes um, so that you know the LDAP uh, server can sync it to Fusion Server in the background. And once that's done, then you go to the front end and check for AI Agent Studio access. Okay, th so that's all we are going to do it and you will see step by step how that's done. So I'm going to start by creating a new user. So let's jump on to Oracle Fusion applications to start with. So here I am in Oracle Fusion Cloud applications. Now before we proceed ahead, I'm going to quickly show you that uh, I'm on release 13 with a version of 25D of Oracle Fusion Cloud applications, which at the moment is the latest one. Having said that, I'm gonna close this and in order to create a new user, I will simply go here and I will hit the add user account. Okay, and then I will add first name, last name, email, etc. over here. So the hypothetical user that I will be taking is called as Tom Sanders. So Tom Sanders and then something like Tom dot Sanders at Oracle Demos dot com as an example. Okay. And then the username will be automatically generated as Tom Sanders. I'm going to give some password. Okay, and once that is done, the next step I'm going to do it is add some roles. So I will add security or something like IT security manager. Okay, as an example, and then I'm going to add, say, application. developer okay these two roles and once i'm done then i'm going to hit the save and close button and then i will go to my user interface to check what's going on okay so uh, i'm going to log out from here and log in as Tom Sander. So use this sign out button to come out. So I've just logged in as Tom Sanders, and then I will search for AI Studio here. So how do you go about AI Studio? You either go via the tools here. So I can't see anything over here. Alternatively, I will go via the hamburger menu and look in the tools. I can't see the uh, AI Studio console here at all. So I need to add some more uh, roles to this user and uh, that role will be a custom role, which we will create it now. So if you recall, let me go back to the flow chart that we have visited earlier. So first step is to create a user. Next step is to set certain profile options, which include Aura, uh, AS, 
e sas integration enabled and then over at cmvbcs pwa enabled these two profile options we've got to set and then we have got to create a new custom role so let's do that and then we'll come back to that uh, to understand the next steps so i'm going to go back to fusion applications so uh, first we need to go to setup and maintenance here okay and then from the right hand side you can see something like a task menu click on that one and go to search okay and here you search say now here you search with uh, manage administrator profile values and click on search and then you will reach a place manage administrator profile option values so click on that link and here you uh, search for a profile option code or display name so the first one is ora asc asc SAS integration enabled and then you click on search okay so here it is enable security console external okay and make sure the value of that is yes so profile value is yes if at all it is no change it to yes and once you do that then you hit the save and close button to save the changes since i have not done any changes i will leave it as it is okay because it was already set to yes the next profile that we have to update is to enable the bbcs ui okay so that profile option code is aura hcm bbcs pwa enabled and then you hit the search button okay and make sure you see this one is enable bbcs progressive web application user interface okay make sure that this profile option value is also set as y or yes if it is null or n then update it to y okay once you do that you hit the save and close button but since i have not made any changes it was there as it is we don't need uh, to do anything i will simply cancel it out okay so i will hit the done button i'm done with this and then the next step is i have to create a new role so to do that i will go to hamburger menu and then i will go into security console okay and then here i will create a new role so to do that i'm going to hit the create role button and here i will give a role name as say something like xx custom ai agent studio access okay something like this and then i will give a code as well over here say xx custom ai agent studio access okay and then role category i'm going to choose something like uh, a common role i'm going to choose common job roles okay and here i'm going to give this description okay not this but this one okay once i do that i'm going to uh, save the role code in my notepad just for future reference then i'll hit the next button okay and now one thing that i probably missed out is we also need to enable the permission groups so make sure you click on this button okay enable permission groups okay then hit next and then comes the privilege and privileges you add the 
add function security policy by clicking on this particular button okay and look for this uh, this particular function security policy okay so basically it lets you create and edit the backends for visual builder studio extensions so add privileges to this role okay and then you cancel then you hit the next button and here you have the permission groups so i'm going to skip this part and hit the next button i'm going to skip this data security policies also hit the next button and here you have roles and privileges so i'm going to add a role over here this role is having a code of aura fai manage all ai agents to manage all intelligent agents okay so click on that one and choose this add role membership okay and then you cancel it out then you go to roles and permission groups and here you add another role so basically this defines the access to specific product families for ai agents so for example you have different product families such as finance procurement scm projects hrms and so on so you see i'm interested to demonstrate you for procurement uh, related uh, ai agent so i'm going to add this role for procurement fai gen ai agent prc administrator duty okay so choose this one and then hit add role membership so once you do this i'm going to hit the cancel button okay so as you could see the role that we have added is just appeared over here and then i will click next button and hit next again and then again hit next so it summarizes what we have done so far okay and hit the save and close button okay so at this time i'm going to go back and check the role that we have just created so that was the role name we'll choose that i'm going to go to this drop down and then i will set it role and i'm going to check all the privileges that we have added so here we have the first privileges and then the other role that we have added in this role hierarchy tab so i'm going to go there So as you could see the first role that we have added uh, was manage all intelligent agents in roles and privileges tab and the next role we have added in roles and permission groups which was fai gen ai agent prc administrative duty okay once you do that then click next click next and next again and save and close okay so now that you have created a role you have got to assign it to the user that we have created so you go to the user for the user here say tom sanders and then hit the search button okay and i'm going to go into this particular user and then i will hit the edit button and then i will add the role I'll look for the role here so that was the custom role we have created then i will add the role membership hit the done button and then hit save and close to save my changes as you could see this role that we have just created got added and then i'm going to hit the done button again okay so at this time i'm going to go back to our powerpoint presentation to see the next steps so a quick recap we started by creating a new user then we checked the system profile options we we ended up in checking the two system profile options and we made sure both the profile options were set as yes then we created a new role for uh, granting the access to ai agent and i have explained you within this role you've got to add certain roles privileges and permission groups and then you add added uh, the newly created role to the user this is where we were now we have got to run 
certain background processes. So let's go and run those background processes. And after we run those background processes, you can check the user for AI Agent Studio access from the front end. So I'm going to go back to Fusion Applications. Okay, so here we are. And I'm going to go into Hamburger Menu. And then I will go from Tools and Schedule Processes. And here I'm going to look for a specific process. So the first process is going to be import resource application security data. So basically this will import the data of resources from LDAP and store it in application security tables. So hit the OK button and then hit the submit button to submit this process. Okay, so request ending with 340 was submitted. So to see the status, you click on refresh. And while it is running, you can also submit a subsequent process. So I'm going to go back to schedule new process. And then I'm going to clear this off and then give import user and role application security data and hit the tab button. So this basically imports the user and role data from LDAP and store it in application security tables. So I'm going to hit the OK button. And then hit the submit button. OK, now to see the status, hit the refresh button. So you see both the requests are running. So at this point of time, I'm going to simply wait for some time for its completion. And once it's completed, then we have got to log in as the newly created user to check whether we got access to the Oracle Fusion AI Studio user interface or not. So these two requests have been so these two requests have been running for a while now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to log out from this particular user. And then I will re-log in. Okay, so I've just re-logged in. And from here itself, I will go to Tools. And I can see AI Agent Studio is appearing now in Tools. I can also go via the hamburger menu to tools and then you see AI agent studio is appearing now. I will click on this one and that will open the interface for AI agent studio. So as you could see now and it is now showing us the details of the AI agents. Okay, for example, if you want to see the AI agent for procurement, you can you can choose the family and then a specific project product you can choose it by filtering out the product name. So as you could see, these are all the procurement related agents that can be appeared over here. Okay, so Basically, this in short is the process of giving access to a specific user for accessing the Oracle Fusion AI Studio.